Hi guys, I'm back. It's been hectic. Oh my god. It's been hectic. I got married in May. The second week of May I got married. And it's just been hectic like ever since then. We didn't do a honeymoon right away. Um, some of my friends from Massachusetts that had come down for the wedding, we spent two or three days with them before they went back home. So that was kind of our like honeymoon, but not. Um, so yeah, we spent some day, some time with them. And then my grandpa recently took a pretty big fall down his steps. I still do not know how that happened. Um, but I'm dealing with that. I run a farm kind of working on it. Um, it's just been hectic, so I haven't really had the chance to really sit down and film really anything other than, like, shorts, like the YouTube shorts. So, yes, but I did go and order some stuff from Ulta. That's another thing. Like, I haven't bought really anything from Ulta since February. I think February was my last order, so I need to restock on some stuff, get some stuff. You know the drill. Also, a lot of you guys ask me about my earrings because I wear uh, different earrings almost every video. That's my thing. I typically wear, you know, my ring, which I now have a wedding band, but I typically wear my ring and then some earrings. And you guys seem to like my earrings. <laughs> so they're little flowers. Anyway, there's that. So... Let me turn my phone down so no one tries to call me. So here's here's my Ulta order. It's really small. And I'm missing one thing from my order, which was the ColourPop Jelly Eyeshadow. I've never tried those before, so I ordered one to, you know, test it out. And they shipped it separately for some reason. I don't know. But this is what I got. So they had a sale on the EOS. I say EOS. Everyone says it's EOS whatever um the eos uh shaving cream it was buy one get one 40 percent off so i did get two i got this one which i've tried which is in a it smells like lavender and it this is the sensitive shave cream with oatmeal non-foaming yeah this is what i typically use and this is big uh this is seven ounces it's got some heft to it the reason why I like these is because it's not a typical foaming shaving cream. It's more like a lotion consistency, so it it's a little bit thicker. There's a hair. Uh, and it leaves just a really, really smooth, like, aftershave. So that's why I really like this. I've been using it ever since high school. You know, they've been around for a while. So this is what I like. So I I got this one because I normally get it. And then they came out with this one, which is coconut oil for dry skin, which I probably will use this in the winter time because I get like the worst dry skin in the winter. It's, it's ridiculous. My body gives me chapped lips in the summer and dry skin in the winter. Where does that make sense? But anyway, um, so I'm excited to try this because I'm not... I'm going to open it and see what it smells like. It's got tape on it. Because this is new. I've never, at least new to me. I don't know if it's new to the company. But I got it on Ulta. So let's see. Oh, that's not going to happen. Okay. It smells like pineapples. It smells like pineapples and coconut. That's actually really nice. If you're not a fan of coconut or fruity scents, though, I definitely would not recommend that because that's pretty strong. And then this one's my, I think this one's lavender. Let me make sure. It has a lavender leaf on it, so I would think it's lavender, but let's not assume. I just got that on my nail. Okay. I don't remember. I'm not... Oh, it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, because it's sensitive skin. But it has like, y'all, I'm not kidding. It has like, oh, it's so bright. It has like a little lavender leaf. But it doesn't smell. I thought it smelled. Oh, well. Anyway, so I got these two. 
enough rambling about that. Because it was buy one, get one, 40%. Okay. Next thing I got, y'all, I'm not kidding. I've never had a hair that won't conform. Let's try this. I got a Morphe brush, and this is the Morphe M506. This is by far my most used brush in my makeup collection. I have a few. There's two brushes that I use more than anything, and it's the 506 and the 357. No, M127. I had the seven, right? So yes, here's, you know, I got one here. I've got a bunch of them. They're just at the bottom of my wonderful pile. Oh my goodness. Now that y'all are here, they're not coming out. Anyway, I wanted another one because I really use the heck out of these. Yeah, see, there's two of them. I'm sure I've got more deep down in the crevices, but it's just what I use. I'll deal with that later. I use these, these brushes more than anything, and it's the M507. I think it's probably the best blending crease brush that Morphe makes, and I really hope that they never discontinue it because I'll be very upset. So, I got another one because if you can tell this one right here is a little more kind of fluffed and fanned out and this one is more at a point because this one is is older it's got the bigger Morphe logo on it and this one has the smaller so it's a little bit older I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in size but this one is definitely older so I think it's time to retire it and replace it. So that's what I did. I typically, when I do giveaways too, I typically include one of these. I either include the 506 or 507 and the one I was just telling you guys about, which disappeared again. I don't know why I need a better organization system. But the flat brush that I love dearly. I'm just going to bring some of these out. This is crazy. This one. Oh, M124. So when I do my giveaways, I either give away the, the 507 or the M124. Sometimes both. <laughs> just because... They are my favorites, and I like to include some of my favorites in my giveaways. So, highly, just highly, it's just perfect, especially if you, if you have hooded eyes. I love it. it this is it's awesome. All right. The next thing I got is also from Morphe, and that is the Morphe Translucent Setting Powder. I did go ahead and throw away the box. Um, I've never tried a Morphe set, setting powder. Pressed, powder, puff, whatever. I've never tried it. Um, it didn't have two you know, bad reviews. It wasn't like the best, but I think it was on sale when I bought this. So, okay, I'm gonna take the seal. Oh, I'm gonna take the seal. I'm gonna do a little swatch. Oh, it's very soft. I know that's bright, y'all. And this is a setting powder, so, you know, it's not gonna show up the best, but that's what the translucent looks like, at least on my skin tone. And I'm not gonna waste it. Just gonna casually. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I. Powders. If I'm going to be honest, powders and foundation are just one of those things I hate buying. 
just being real. I hate buying foundations and setting powders. I feel that they're so expensive and finding a cheaper option sometimes just isn't always the best option. So I just hate buying them. But this was like $14 and it has 0 .9, 0 .9 grams or 9 grams. Hold on y'all, my eyesight's going. 0 .31 ounces in it. I'm not mad at that. It's a fairly decent, decent size for $14, so I'm going to try it. And the last thing that I got, I have been really into lip liners with a lip gloss. I don't know why, but they've just been my thing. And so I bought a ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF. So, let me try this. My favorite uh, combo, if I can find it, you guys, which may be easier said than actually done. Yeah, here it is. So, my favorite combo recently has been the KKW Beauty uh, Lip Liner in Nude 0.5 and the cab lip gloss in glazed so those two have been my favorites so I'm actually going to try these colors look similar but the um, the KKW one looks a little darker but I'm gonna try it so I'm actually gonna try this for y'all we're gonna do this because I've been so into this it's been like I don't know I, I really me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of lip gloss, but for some reason, this one and a lip liner I, I love. So we're going to try it. So what I do is I do the outline and then I kind of fill it in like a lipstick before I add gloss. very smooth very very smooth that's that's impressive I don't know if I'm gonna like this like the color it's a pretty nude let me do well, I'll do it after okay So that's what just the lip liner looks like. It's a very pretty nude. Oh, got my hair hung. It's a pretty nude. Okay. Let me do a swatch. I'm trying to do a big enough one so y'all can see. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful nude. Now let's try with the gloss. The cat trying to do something they're not supposed to do. Okay. Now I'm not wearing any other makeup, so don't judge me. You guys. And that's what it looks like with a gloss. I'm sure you can add, you know, any any gloss. This is just how it's my favorite. It's I love the cab glosses. I know a lot of people say celebrity makeup lines suck. I went to school with one of the the co-founders, the owners of this company. I went to school with her, and I know that everything that she touches turns to gold. So. I learned from personal experience. I personally recommend this. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Yeah, I like that. Okay, okay. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with my go-to. So the KKW Beauty, which they don't freaking make anymore, and I really need them to 
come back. Okay, so the nude, the ColourPop one's actually darker. This has more of a pink tone. This is the KKW and this is the ColourPop one. Okay. Awesome. Guys, like, I've been into lip liners. I recently just bought these. I'm going to include them in this Ulta haul, even though technically I did get them from Amazon, but I ordered them the same week. So these are the NYX lip liners that I ordered. I've got natural. Y'all, like, I'm not kidding. I've been like really, I'm going to do it on this side of my hand. Just been really in. So that's natural to lip liners recently. Like what's wrong with me? Then we have nude pink. Oh, that's very pink. It's nude, but it's very, very pinky toned. Okay. All because I want to wear lip liner with lip gloss. Then this is also pink. This is peekaboo neutral. Still has pink undertones, but still very right there. Neutral. And then we have Ever. This looks to be a little darker. What's this one? Oh yeah, this is a lot darker actually. This kind of has a little bit of a berry undertone. So yeah. Y'all. I don't know. I just went and bought a bunch of bunch of lip liners this week. <laughs> Very excited. Very excited. Okay. So that is it. I will do a kind of first impressions review on the ColourPop Jelly eyeshadow. Uh, almost said highlighter. The Jelly eyeshadow when I get it. I think it's supposed to be here in the next couple of days. I don't know why they shipped it separately, but for some reason Ulta was like, ha oopsies forgot it in your box we're gonna send that so anyway that is it for this video you guys i hope to be making some more videos soon now that the wedding has over and it has calmed down so that is it i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye guys